All right, guys, welcome back to part 10 of Arcana Bridge of Spirit series. Uh, we finished, we just finished, I'm recording right after the last part, we just finished um, Taro's storyline and found out that that's not the end of the game. There's uh, at least one more storyline here, Adira's, that we're going to start. Um, she was a woodsmith, apparently. So I think we need to help her spirit move on as well. But let's do some stuff real quick here. We just passed... Um, this little flower shrine that needs to be cleared and we have the spirit mail for that house and I think we can do that real quick right here now that we have the bow ability I don't think we had come back through here before when we had the bow or we were here before when we didn't have the bow I, mean, I should say <clears throat> and we haven't come back since so let's do this real quick and then we'll head over oh get this too come back for that in a second Come on. There we go. Yeah. Just take care of these things real quick. And then we will go start a deer's storyline, which I'm excited about. That sounds really cool. Did we get some karma for that? I think so. Hope so. Um, maybe... Oh, so we're going to go through a new barrier. Oh yeah, look at that. It just opened up. Cool. Um, maybe we will soon unlock this last row of abilities, whatever that is. And let's do the spirit mail. Man, I, I know I said this at the end of the last part, but I just can't get over how well, like how well written the storyline is. It's it's not super complex or super long, you know. Um, it's not as deep as a game as, as like Horizon Zero Dawn or something, which by the way is an excellent game if you haven't played it. And the sequel, Forbidden West, is coming out in a couple months. Um, Kane is not as deep as that, but like. I feel like it's just such a cool storyline and not predictable. You know, I mean, obviously we knew we were doing something with spirits and uh, helping them. Obviously, you know, we're a spirit guide, ladybug hat, that's cool. Um, but I wouldn't have been able to predict the way that Taro's storyline went, even as we were going through it. You know, I wouldn't have been able to nail everything down there. Um, just cool too, like a good message for people playing the game. A good theme, you know. Oh, here's a a rot. Yeah, like I, I like that the game kind of highlights the fact that you know Taro blamed himself, and that's why he was troubled and couldn't move on, blamed himself for Benny and Saya dying, basically. Um, that's why he couldn't move on. And, you know, Kana explaining to him that that's okay and that they under the kids know how much he cared about them. And I just think that stuff's really cool. And that's not something you, not something you typically see in video games. You know, it's not that emotional. So I think that's cool and unique for sure. All right, let's do this. Oh, I noticed, guys, also that I, uh, I've been leaving my MSI Afterburner overlay on in the bottom left corner. I hope that's not super annoying to anyone. Um, I was turning it off, but 
And, and I will if I remember. I just forgot to turn it off. What are these? Something new. Wow, this is a big area. There's so many gems everywhere. I feel like, I mean, I don't know how expensive the most expensive hats are, but we have a lot of gems. Don't know if we're going to be able to spend them all. Oh. Sneaky rot in the lantern. chest. We'll come back for that. I don't want to do that right now. I'm already getting sidetracked here big time. It's definitely not the way we're supposed to go. I got dock down here. Poison water. Cursed water. Don't want to go in there. Some ominous music. Alright. Let's get it's like a portal there too. Let's get back to the main main path here. Warp point. Gems everywhere. guys to fight there. Which way are we? Oh, I have to go way over here. Okay. Well, we'll come back and we'll clean this up at some point. All these little things to do. There looks like there's tons of stuff there. But I assume we need to go through here right now. Getting locked in. Oh, the roots are glowing. This is cool. What are these glowing rocks? Maybe, maybe that's the new ability we're gonna learn. I'll bet you that's what's going on. Going to need more power to get that door moving. Energy has not flowed here for a long time. The land has begun to heal. Is this your doing? My name is Kena. I helped Benny and Saya free Taro's spirit. I'm on my way to help the woodsmith. Do you know her? Yes, I know Adira. She was a great woodsmith. Together, we found a way to capture the energy of the mountain shrine. She believed we could harness the resources of this land to sustain the village forever. But that dream faded long ago. We've only just met, 
but I can tell you have a strong connection to the spirit realm. You carry the same energy that flows through these roots. It must be what drew you to this place. With focus, you can gather that energy. Your bomb should prove useful in powering up all the old technology around here. Bombs? We need to repair the power mechanisms to open the passage. Oh. Take a look up there and see if you can get things working. Yeah, I will. Sweet. How do we do this? Hold left mouse button, then release thumb mouse button to throw a bomb. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, so that is what these rocks are. To shoot it? Oh, they're on like a timer though. You heard that ticking? Let me uh just turn the dialogue volume up a little bit. Felt felt a little quiet there. Oh, bombs! That's cool. Oh, so is that? Uh, let's look. Let's look. Yes. This is the last ability. So what is this? Quick draw bomb. Increased if Kana shoots the bomb before it explodes on its own. Okay, so I was impatient. Let's, uh... They should blow up on their own if you wait long enough. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So they'll blow up on your own, but if we get this ability, we can also, well, we can make them blow up with the arrow right now. But we can do increased damage to enemies if we shoot it. Okay. Oh, and they stick to the enemies. Awesome. This is cool. Um, two bombs at one time. Basic. Hold. Press R. Okay, a rot infused bomb. Freezes everybody. That's really cool. Yeah, see, these these rot abilities, man, are so strong. Can we... Oh, we can get that right now. We can get that right now. Um, Which one, though? Hmm. Two at a time. I feel like this is better than two at a time because then you can freeze everyone. Increase damage. Let's do the let's do the raw one. We only need a little more karma to get this one. Let's try that. Oops. <laughs> okay, but we can walk around inside it. Look at the little rot, just like... Let's do that again. Whoops. I have to release the mouse. I'm releasing the wrong button, so look at them floating around in here. But you can move around normal speed. That's cool. Oh, so it's like 3D platforming now. Wait, where is this supposed to go, though? Oh, just in time. You guys hear that timer, right? Yeah, see, they're on a timer. Oh, this is cool. What a cool mechanic, man. That is... I can't think of anywhere else I've seen something like that. They've done a lot of really unique things in this game. See, this is, this is especially why I wanted that bind multi-shot for the moths because then it's easy to bind your rot to somebody you know a, a ground enemy but then it can hit all, hit all the moths oops spirit mail sweet okay and we cleared this corruption Adding to our gratuitous amount of gems that we already have. It's a 
up here. That looks like a door that we could go through at some point. Somehow. There's some karma. Okay, wait. Let me just check back down here really quick. I saw this little catwalk. Okay, just more gems. Oh no. Karma. That's good. Oh, we just need five more. We can get the increased damage bombs. Bet you will find that just running around here. Okay, so bomb, shoot it. Jump. So cool. Let's just get over here. Again. Is there nothing over here? That's kind of weird. Wait. Oh, it has to recharge. It's down. You see down in the bottom right, next to my uh, arrow number, or number of arrows, it has a little recharge effect. I don't know where that just that like went through the floor. That was weird. Okay, that's what we're supposed to be doing. I just thought we were messing around. <laughs> okay, so we need another one of these totem things. Oh, cool. So we're trying to open that big door, I guess. Is I thought we opened it. Didn't we open it? Wasn't there a cutscene? Maybe not. Maybe it just or something. I don't remember. Oh right, wait. What's up these stairs? Nothing. We just... We did those. Let's, let's do these. Oh, interesting. That's so cool, you can, uh, like, tip them. Okay, so we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna go on this one, and this one, and up here. All for some more gems. <laughs> they love giving you the gems. I'm not complaining. Maybe there's gonna be some super expensive rod hats. Never know. Never know. Alright, this one we have not done. Twist it. It's a ramp. Nice. Go get it. Fruit? Nope. Oh, we still just need five. Fruit? Yes. Okay. So which ability do we want to get any of these? Air slam. That actually looks pretty good. I feel like we're getting by without that. Perfect charge. Heavy attack with precise timing. Uh, maybe. Parrying is so hard. I feel like this is not worth prioritizing. Th this would be useful and you need this to get there, but I don't know. Honestly, I haven't been using the shield that much. Maybe I should be. Five arrows? We have four right now. Six arrows, okay. That's pretty straightforward. I don't think we need more arrows, really. I think that's the one, the increased damage. T 
two bombs. I could wait. Nah, let's not. Let's just get this one. I think this is the move. <laughs> we'll see if I'm wrong soon, probably. Uh, is this... Where we need to go right now? That looks like a steep slide down. How do we get in there? I don't think these were enough to actually go anywhere. They were just uncovering the rot, seemed like. Yeah. Let's see, how do we, how do we get up there? Hmm. Maybe we come out there from this other one, possibly. I mean, it looks like we're gonna go down into a cave if I go down that. Well, let's just do it. We're gonna have to do it at some point, right? We sh looks like we kind of covered this whole... This whole side of it already. Oh, yep. Ooh. Are we supposed to hit them with the bombs? Oh. Oh, it is on him, though. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh. They're, like, really easy to kill once you hit them in the middle. Oh. Yes. Oh, they hit hard, though. Watch out for that roll. Oh, what am I even doing? We can, uh... Oh, no, we do have to kill them all. Oh, you can... So it's proximity. It doesn't have to just be touching one enemy. If they're close enough, it'll do more than one. That's cool. Yay, more gems! those fall on you. Bet you that hurts. Uh, what? I got stuck there for a second? Weird. A rot! Like there's nothing else down here besides this, which I think is clearly the way they want us to go. Wow. Oh, we gotta move. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Quick! Oh, okay. This is like a side area. Bu 
bugs? Bug hat? Beetle hat? Nice. Need to find a rot hat cart. Spend some of these gems. Got a lot of new hats we can get. Okay, what do we have here? We can bring all those up again. Then we have this rock, which is like blocking a flower. Ow. Okay. Zip over here. Oh, almost fell. And we're up. This is so cool. This game is like turning into like a 3D puzzler or a 3D platformer now. With these uh, floating bomb puzzles. Very cool. I didn't expect that. That's not in any of like the trailers or at least not that I remember. It's not in any of the promotional content for the game. That was kind of a cool surprise they saved. Oh, here's our other totem. Oh yeah, so we did come up. This was that area. Where's that? Yeah, because there's that lantern I hit before. Which we can now go up here. Check out what's up here. So they're just letting me in here, I think. Oh. Bow challenge? I like the bow challenges. Oh, it's a rot. Okay. Hi. These bombs are so cool, man. <laughs> Just like whip it out and oh, pow. You know, I gotta use them in combat more, that'll be fun. <clears throat> and we we got the slow motion thing, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh, could we have gone up here before? Oh, probably, but I don't know. Maybe this was locked off. Whatever. Okay guys, I think that's uh, a good place to stop. We'll uh, pick up with her dialogue about, I'm sure, going through this door at the beginning of the next part. Um, thank you guys for watching. You know what to do. Hit that like button if you've been joining the content and make sure you're subscribed. It would really help me out as I get the channel off the ground and uh, it'll make sure that you don't miss the rest of our Cana Bridge of Spirits series. Okay, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.